What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tasha. Y'all know what time it is. Saturday scares. Thought I'd embody my boy Waldo from Where's Waldo today. I got a little get up next Saturday and for Halloween, too. So hopefully y'all appreciate me taking this whole Halloween thing. You know what I'm saying? A little serious. Guy, where you at? You ain't gonna be on camera? You better not be biting on my shoe. But yeah, y'all can see I got on my little Where's Waldo t-shirt and and hat. So I got a couple videos for y'all today. Um, the first one is called Eden, which is a short film. It was sent by um, Sad Black Hottie. We got The Roommate, which is animated. Um, it's a llama arts video that came from Jordan. And these last three are really short that I'm going to do today. Um, I picked them out myself because I wanted to watch them anyway. And I had, which is like the, I think it's the, the FNAF v VHS uh, like playlist. But I'm only going to do like the first three and then like maybe we'll do the rest in another video. But um, still got two more Saturdays left. Y'all think it was five Saturdays this month. So two more videos. We got what's next week, the 24th. And then Halloween actually falls on a Saturday. So I may do my Halloween video kind of early. I doubt if anybody trick or treats, but I don't you never know people logic with stuff. It may just be some people in the neighborhood that come by. So I'm going to try to have a little candy ready just in case with my mask and my gloves. And then we got to do, if y'all didn't know, if y'all watching Saturday Scares, every day this month, I have been streaming on Twitch, either a scary movie, scary gameplay, something Halloween related. Um, the link is in the description if you want to, you know, participate, because once y'all get this, I will be doing a movie tonight, which I'm doing Hocus Pocus tonight, if y'all want to watch that. And um, the rest of the month for Halloween, because I'm probably going to retire after that from doing videos every day for a whole month until like Thanksgiving or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the first video. This one is done. What? Whose channel is this? Is it I88? I think this is the channel that it's on. But y'all don't forget the links in the description so y'all can check out the extra videos on their channel and support them as well. Let me pull up my stuff so we can get into it. All right. What's the name of this name? Eden. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Lust of the beauteous garden will bait souls of the damned. And only then will they feel the wrath of Eden. Uh -oh. I thought I heard something. Did somebody drop their keys? I can't even see what that is. So who dropped their keys then or whatever that was? Somebody ain't gonna be able to get in their house. And are they driving drunk? Not him grabbing his. Yo, I can't find my key. What? Hey, y'all hold up. I'm finna go. I think I left my key outside. I'll be right back. I think I left my key. Don't leave me. You know 
what? They just don't make butts like they Look used to make. Let me see. Damn, she bad. She was at the crib, too. She was at the crib? Mm -hmm. She got a sister. Oh, who is that? How you gonna offer a ride and you ain't even got a car, you in somebody else's car? That's typical shit though. What's up? <laughs> she got him so quick, y'all ain't even I didn't even Man, I'm about to go check on DJ. I didn't even expect her to do that. I thought she was gonna like lure him somewhere. She just like sliced his neck in the middle of the street. DJ, yo, DJ. So the girl name gonna be eating. That's gonna be DJ. Cause this ain't eating, so I don't. Out of here. Jason! Jason! Elliot! You gonna get out the car? Did you not see what just happened Elliot. to him in through the window? Bruh, who got him while he was sprinting like that? Elliot! Get your ass in the car. Y'all, I. Uh uh, she right there, bruh. Her name gonna be eating what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What the fuck was that? I'm disturbed. Okay, then. They made it seem like they were talking about the garden or eating or something, but I mean, I guess temptation is temptation, so... That was kind of cool, but yeah, um, old boy in the car, you seen your homie running and then he got snatched and you're going to get out the car. That's not, no, I would have to drive, <laughs> call the police, come back and check this shit out. Mm -mm. But that was uh, Eden. Go check out this on I88's page. The link will be in the description. We're going to get ready to get into the next video because oh, that was something else. Mm. Yo, I... So the second video Like I said is from Llama Arts It's called The Roommate It's animated So I think I've watched some Llama Arts stuff before Their stuff is kind of cool So we're going to get into that And see what's popping up with The Roommate Looking for a new roommate Is always a daunting task Even though you interview And take the time to get to know that person I don't feel like I ever had like a roommate like Besides they the girl that I was a roommate with in college that's it. I began searching for a roommate after I decided to leave my current residency. I was contacted a couple of hours after placing an ad on the Facebook Marketplace. Not the Facebook message read, Hey Chris, I'll be moving out of my current apartment this August and I'm looking to room with someone new as my roommates are moving to California this year. I'm 27 and I'm currently going to school. When I'm not at school, I enjoy hiking and watching movies. I also apprentice at a taxidermy shop on the days I don't have class. Hope that's not weird. It's always been a fun hobby of mine. Text anyway, I'm email. looking forward to hearing back from you. Have a great day, Lunaire. I ain't First, judging nobody. The obvious but reaction after reading the message was to check her profile. In the tool, in she was a medium height, had long, messy blonde hair and green eyes. In her profile picture, I saw her standing with a man and a woman, shoulder to shoulder. They each adorned goofy grins and held up peace signs. Under the photo, the caption read, "Love my roommates." I smiled to myself and decided to send her a message back. The sun beat down. Not the girl over there the across, the, across the street, across the street, just floor of our new apartment. It took us a couple days to get everything out of the moving trucks and into our new place. But as soon as we did, a wave of relief washed over our sweat-drenched and sore bodies. After a couple more hours of rearranging, we each grabbed a beer from the fridge and sat on the porch. And not that we death, reminisced like about old '90s thing. cartoons and what video games we obsessed over as kids. And as the sun started to set, I truly felt relaxed and confident that things were going to work out. 
A week later, I started a new job for a construction company that was owned by a good friend of mine. As I was getting ready, I heard the front door swing open. I walked into the living room to see Lunaire and her friend David sliding in a large box. What you got there? I asked. Through a strained grunt, she replied. I bought a freezer to store some of the animals I'm planning on using in my taxidermy work. I hope that's alright. I was obviously hesitant at first, as there was no mention of this happening in the first place, but I eventually accepted but I mean, she told you what she was into, and continued so... getting ready for work. I came home at around 9pm after having a couple of beers with friends, and noticed that the freezer was nestled snugly in the lower part of the pantry. Is there blood on the floor? A low hum could be heard from oh, the light. I was like, walls. um... I was curious to see what was inside, but didn't want to intrude on Lunaire's business. So I went into my room and changed into more comfortable clothing. After changing, I came back out into the kitchen and started making a sandwich. I opened the fridge and grabbed what I needed. As I turned around, I stubbed my toe on the edge of the Ooh. island countertop and let out a long, exasperated grunt. Through my frustration, I slammed the fridge door shut and checked my toe to see if there was any bleeding. As I raised my head back up, I was greeted by a shadowy figure. Lunaire was standing in the doorway leading to her room. The darkness behind her almost seemed to envelop her. Is everything okay? She said in a deadpan tone. Shit, yeah, I'm sorry. I just slammed my toe into the corner of the countertop as I was making a sandwich. I hope I didn't wake you. It's fine. She said in the same deflated tone as before. She then turned around and walked back into the darkness of her room. Uh, I could tell that she was pissed, so I quietly made my sandwich and retreated back to my room as well. Only the hearing the low hum from like the freezer as I closed my door. I had the next day off, so I was able to sleep in a little longer than usual. When I finally emerged from my room, I walked into the kitchen to make breakfast. As I opened the refrigerator, I noticed that the light wasn't turning on and there was a lack of cold air escaping from inside. I turned around and flipped the light switch to confirm my suspicion. Sure enough, the power was out. Damn it, I muttered under my breath. I walked over to Lunaire's room and knocked on her door to tell her about the power outage if she didn't know. If it's hot know, and their freezer got no some in it. I then remembered that she had classes that day and probably wasn't home. I walked back to the kitchen and passed oh, we got the a lock on it. As I did, I slipped on the floor but was able to catch myself on the countertop. What the? I angrily exclaimed as I looked down at the floor trying to figure out what I had slipped on. Oh no. It was blood. It had started to leak from the corner of the freezer and pool onto there the floor. There ain't no animals in there. I quickly tried to open the freezer to find out the cause of the It's locked, bro. You don't see the lock? But then I noticed that it had a padlock attached to it. How you lock the freezer like me? I know this animated though. Let me know. I ask. ran out to my car and grabbed my toolbox from Ooh. the back seat. Oh, you finna break it open? I the freezer and set my tools down on the nearby countertop. I then pulled out a small pair of bolt cutters and snapped through the metal oh, of the padlock. Oh no. It fell don't open it, sir. A large thud. I creaked open the top of the freezer and was greeted with a putrid stench that permeated my mm -hmm. nostrils. I quickly pinched my nose and walked away gagging in response. I guess I should have realized that was going to happen. I muttered to myself in between gags. What's the look? After gaining Jesus my must have cut that power so he can <laughs> save himself because the odds of this happening. See a couple of dead birds and plastic bags wedged into the corners of the freezer. I took each bag out and set them in the trash can nearby. That's you when still, I noticed that the blood was coming from the corner of the larger black bag. I don't know why, but I decided to open the top of the bag and no, peer inside. No, that bag's so big, bro. I, I bet it's a body. Large, Look at there. White eyes, a swollen black tongue surrounded Yo. by cracked and bloated lips, and the matted hair. She got like head. ligature marks on her wrist and her neck. She dropped the bag and fell backwards onto the floor. What did she do my to them bitches? Had ceased to exist, and I grabbed the trash can next to me and expelled my disgust into it. I hope they ain't the trash. I then ran out the door. I hope they ain't the trash day, Brady. Called the police. Mm -mm. As I sat in the interrogation room with a blanket over my shoulders, I couldn't help but think about the face I'd seen. It looked so familiar. Her That's roommates from the other picture. Been. I pulled out my phone and looked at Lunaire's profile picture. It was Ooh. her old roommate. So the one she said was moving to California. 
When the detective entered the room, she started the questioning process, asking me if I started noticing any weird behavioral occurrences around the apartment. So where the other dude at yeah, that was in the I picture? Yeah, I stubbed my toe the other day, and she creepily stood in the doorway. It seemed like she was pissed, but for some reason I had a strange feeling like she was concerned about something. That's when I connected the dots. So she didn't come out to the kitchen because she heard me stub my toe. She thought she you opened out into the, the freezer. Because she thought I slammed the freezer instead of the fridge. Bray. A cold sweat started to form on my forehead as my surroundings became blurred. She would have you if you had opened I could hear shit. low whine slowly starting to cover up the words of concern from the detective. As my vision started to clear, I could see another officer enter the room and whisper something into her ear as he handed her a piece of paper. Do you have somewhere you could stay at? She asked. I mean, Why? I was planning on staying with my parents. They live about 30 minutes outside of town. What happened? Okay. She paused. Listen, I don't want to worry you, but we found this picture inside of your apartment. She slid the piece of paper across Bro. the table, and I immediately felt like someone kicked me in the chest. Was that the girl that was watching him from jump? Oh! The roommates oh! Oh! In the background, scrawled on the wall in blood, red. Love my roommates. All of them. I ain't expect that. Wait a minute. God damn you, Lama Arts. Does this ever. I thought for sure that when she slid the picture, because remember when he first was looking for a roommate, it was a girl across from him in the building. And she was looking over at him. So I'm thinking that maybe the, that was the girl watching him from jump, you know, like or something. It was going to be like a picture of him on a computer post in the ad. Bitch, just the other man's. Damn. She was out here wilding. See, this why it. This why I don't be trusting people, bro. This shit is wild. But anyway, the link to this video will be in the description if you want to check it out on Loma Arts channel. Now, these last three videos I'm about to do are connected. They're from, what is this? Skimpus McGrimpus? <laughs> I guess that's the name of the channel. They're doing the FNAF VHS tapes, which is supposed to be like scary. I guess like cursed VHS tapes or something. I don't know if they cursed or not. But the name of the video is called Fazbear Entertainment Video Manual. The next one after that is bunny joint movement testing. And then I'm going to do the sound response check. I'm going to do those three together since they're so short. And then maybe we'll do the rest of the playlist another Saturday along with some more videos. So let's get ready to get into it. Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Maintenance Video Manual. I this tape like will cover the instructions on how to clean out your state of the art animatronic characters. Each animatronic has the same cleaning procedure. First, reach behind their neck and press the red button. Oh, no. This will set them into him. maintenance Still mode. From the from the Second, press the blue unlock button on the back of the head. Um, Remove wait. the upper jaw carefully, then detach oh, the lower uh. jaw. Them endoskeletons be looking so crazy. Press down on both shoulders to unlock the shoulder Not this joint. music though, like this is... Remove both arms. So obvious. Elevator music. Finally, take the torso piece and lift it upward until it is completely removed. Why is there blood? Is Find this inside the torso and accept your death. Excuse me? These just play right. I guess they just going in order. Bro, it was uh uh it was somebody in there. And that shit just cut. Like how you do a training manual like that? These noises in the background. Ain't nothing happening, bro. 
Oh! Where the fuck? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, not him being in the back like this. Who recording this? Y'all just gonna look like that? See, I ain't got time for this shit, bro. Who is recording this? This whole what's this marionette bitch? Is that blood on his face? Oh. What are these tapes? Who would even be sitting in the room? Chill. Wait a minute, bitch. What was it at the end? I'm going back. How you play this shit in slow motion? Uh oh, y'all see that? I knew something jumped out at the end. Uh oh, I ain't got time, bro. This a sound one? Audio will play in three seconds. You gotta play the sounds to get them to do stuff. I might watch the one that come after this, depending on how long this one. I don't like this. There's no way I would work at anywhere that looked like this shit. She what? Uh, uh uh, see? Why is she looking at me? It ain't even telling you what they supposed to be doing, bro. That sounds like funeral music. Uh uh. Some, some Phantom of the Opera Dracula shit. I ain't got time. Why she still looking at me though? I feel attacked. This music makes me feel better. Is this Chica talking? Who's saying they like birds? I saw a bear sleeping in the snow. That's what bad dreams are about. I feel like I'm sleeping in the snow and I can't get it. It's too cold for me to do that. Things don't breathe when they sleep in the snow. I can't breathe. What is happening? Who is that? Is that a little kid? What the fuck is happening? I have to catch these videos at the end, bro, because the shit they do at the end be so quick. That is so creepy, bro. <gasps> Not a dead bird in the snow saying I can't breathe. What even is this? Hey there, fucking air. The pirate cold shorts begin okay, in about three sailor menace. In your lingo, that would be three minutes. Shiver me timbers. Three minutes. 
I better see some crew over at the curtain, or I'm a toss Freddy and his merry band in Davy Jones' locker. So this one is called Parico Preso. Oh, they're asking for raises. Because I was supposed to do three. Yar, that's three. right. That got your attention. I'll see you, we landlubbers, over there. This fake ass pirate from SpongeBob. Hey there, Buccaneers. The pirate corps show is beginning in about. Why would any of the kid things disappear? Three sailor minutes. In your lingo, that would be three I mean, minutes. Shiver me timbers! Three minutes! I better see some crew over at the curtains, or I'ma toss Freddy and his merry band in Davy Jones' locker. Or worse. I'll start asking the for raises! The fan here from FNAF be so yeah. fucking intricate, bro. Why these kids keep disappearing? Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Not discarded discard immediately. immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. These tapes are like so creepy without even really being creepy, bro. But like, what's happening? These children disappear. What's happening? And then all this VHS static in the back. Like, what the fuck? Oh! What's the matter, Foxy? I thought you wanted an audio. That's a purple man. See, uh-uh. Not none existing videos. See, we're gonna have to do that one next time. Let me go back. Yo, I... Y'all. <laughs> I came with these for that VHS tapes because they so weird. They like creepy and not even really doing nothing. But they, they creepy as fuck. Just the fact that they VHS tapes, like... But uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this week's Saturday Scares, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can appreciate my Waldo, my Where's Waldo. What is this on my shirt? Oh, my binoculars, because he got binoculars. But um, yeah, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. Don't forget, if you want to send me videos, animations, anything horror-related to react to, preferably animations or stuff like this, but I'm okay with horror shorts as well, um, at me on Twitter. Married to the Real, because it's in the description. And do hashtag M2TRSS. I'll try to remember to put it at the end of the video this week. Um, but I appreciate y'all supporting me, watching these little horror shorts or whatever. Hopefully, with everything going on this year, y'all taking some time for yourself. Everybody okay? I love October. I don't care what people try to associate with it that's, like, bad. I just love horror stuff. So like October, November, December to my months, besides my birthday month, with this, which is April. But yeah, I can appreciate fall and winter and like some scary shit, you know. So I'm going to get out of here until next time. Um, Let me see real quick while I got y'all here how many more of these videos there are because we did four. There's 12, so we could do four next week and then four the last week. Since it has a finale or whatever. So we'll do that. And then I'll just do some other videos in there with it. So again, thank y'all for y'all's support. And I'll see y'all next Saturday. Peace.